guys home and I've just ducked into, well, haven't just arrived home, I've been home, I've had some dinner. The time for, I don't want to say the uh, weighing of shame, but it won't be far off it. Let's see how much, oh geez, it's not too bad. 110.4. I actually thought I was going to weigh substantially more than that. 110.4. Double check that's what it says. 110.4. I actually thought when I left I was about 108. I thought it was going to say like 113 because I've eaten a lot of uh, food while we were on away. So time to lose about five kilos. Quick. Mm, I was going to say Monday, try Friday morning and as part of my Father's Day gift I got a, uh, I mentioned it to Joanne, going in a sensory deprivation tank. So I've come over here to Gravity Flotation Centre in uh, Northcote, yeah Northcote, we're going to get, uh, check it out. How crazy does this place look? This looks so cool. Alright, I'm in. I'm just going to get myself organised. Okay, so I'm in here. I'm talking really quietly because I don't know how big the walls are and there's people in other rooms. So check out this pod. And that. I picked this place purely because of how cool the pod looked. So you come in, have a shower, and jump into that sucker for two hours. Here we go. All right, and I'm out again. Oh, I tell you what, I, um, I'll be honest, I did open the pod just before it finished. I'd sat there for well, obviously for just under two hours and I uh, it's weird like my brain kept ticking over really really fast for well I don't know how long it just and I was kind of like oh is this going to turn into anything like am I going to quieten down and there were different stages where you quietened right off and you sort of didn't think about too much at all I'm not sure if I dozed off at one stage I may have I'm not sure I was just sort of thinking and then you'd sort of open your eyes close your eyes that type of thing but I did notice uh, the pod is probably, might be eight foot long, but I noticed when I laid in it and I had my hands, because I noticed if, the lady said if you have your hands by your sides, it's okay, but if you put your hands up sort of above your head, it'll take the pressure off your neck. And I had them by my side to begin with, <clears throat> excuse me, and I did notice it started to feel a little bit of weight through here. Then when I put my hands above my head, it was a bit better. But then literally, I reckon I was only this far from the top with my fingertips and probably I'm about maybe this far from the bottom with my toes. So you lay there and every now and then you go and you feel your toes touch the bottom of the pod. And if you pushed, it'd only take about half a second then all of a sudden your fingers would touch the top of the pod. So it was really a matter of just laying there and occasionally you'd bump into the side of the pod and then you'd just slowly drift away. And if you were still, you sort did sort of hang around the middle most of the time. But um, yeah, then it got to the point where I was like, I think I need to go to the toilet and I was like, oh, I wonder how long, I've, have I been in here 40 minutes? Have I been in here an hour? Have I been in here an hour and a half? I don't know. And they got to the point where I was like, I'm going to have to get out and go to the toilet. So I got out, opened up the pod, turned around, picked up my watch and I was six minutes from the end. And I was like, ah, oh, for six minutes I'm getting back in. So I just closed the pod and literally about two minutes later the music came on because they have music on for the first five minutes of it. And then you can control the lights inside the pod and then the music after I think couple of minutes it fades off and then in the last five minutes it comes on again so yeah but um would I do it again I don't know like it went surprisingly quick well, like when I got out to go to the toilet and I thought it was going to be like oh maybe I've been in here an hour and I'd been in there an hour and 55 minutes I was like okay that's surprising so um yeah would I do it again yeah possibly I'd probably give it another go to see what it was like the second time because I read somewhere that uh the more you do it, the quicker you get into a relaxed state. So yeah. Anyway, I'm heading home because I'm a little bit hungry too. All right, guys. It is Saturday afternoon, and we have not. We have not, I have not vlogged anything for like a week, if not more. I don't know. I've gone right off vlogging. I've gone right off doing everything at the moment, feeling very flat. Um, yeah. Alexis and I had a good day though. Didn't we, chicken? Did we have a good day? Not that. Oh, that's a good spot to put the little birdhouse, isn't it? No, it needs to be a match. Needs to what? Be much higher. Much higher, does it? Okay. 
Well, you're making everyone dizzy. Mummy will be not very impressed. Because oh, mum watches the vlogs and then she gets dizzy. How about I put it here like this? There we go. Do you need to go to the toilet? You just went. You should be okay. So yes, we uh, went to a local shopping centre and there was a princess day on and Alexis had to wear a little princess dress. I might throw a little photo of that in if I can uh, figure out how to do that in this program. And uh, yes, you got a hair done and you painted a gnome, didn't you chicken? Yeah. Was it good fun? Yeah. This is a great spot. That's a great spot. Let's go around and have a look at that spot. I didn't actually vlog anything. I probably should have vlogged video of today, but well, that is a good spot, isn't it? Yeah, and the cats can't creep up. They can't creep up there? Who's looking through the fence there at somebody? Just very quietly, somebody's peeking through the fence at you. No, he's gone now. He just walked away. There's one of the dogs at the back. One of the dogs through that hole over there, chicken. He's gone now. He's just peeking through. He's walked off. Don't go too close. You don't want to start a fight with the dogs. So yes, I should have vlogged something today, but I didn't. Oh, so I thought I'd do it now. And we've mowed the lawns, done all that washing. Yes, I've done a pretty good job today. Has Dad done a good job? Did you have fun with Dad? Yeah, I tried to make it a bit higher. Yep, not paying attention to what Dad's saying whatsoever, are you? Did you have fun with the princesses today? Yes. Was Daddy a good Daddy or a gruff Daddy? He was a gruff Daddy. I was a gruff Daddy? Yeah. When was I gruff? He said... He said... Thinking... What did Daddy say? Oh, well, yeah, I wasn't gruff. I just said that you couldn't wear those other shoes because you were wearing your princess dress and your other top and then you came out in wet weather plastic shoes. Um, don't put that in your mouth, chicken. I don't know where that's been. And then you wanted to wear slippers and those were not really appropriate to wear to the shopping centre. So Daddy got you to wear your pink boots. I thought I did pretty well considering the ensemble you wanted to originally wear it was a bit scratchy. So yes. Oh dear, dear, dear. Jeez, I tell you what, this looks very clear. I'm just hoping it looks clear when I upload it. It never seems to. All right, guys. So yes, that is what has been happening. Oh, yeah, as I said before, I've gone right off logging. I haven't bothered to do anything. Oh yeah, I got a haircut. Yeah, I just haven't felt the urge haven't felt the necessity just a bit bored with it all to be quite honest so what's that chicken yeah that's a good spot for the birdhouse yeah and the birds see it when they lie down when they see these bushes and they and then they'll go in Really? Alright, alright, let's go figure out what we're going to do for dinner, chicken. Mum's going to be home soon. Where's Mummy today? You going to tell everyone where Mummy is? At school. That's right, Mummy's at school. Mum's decided to go back to university, finish off her Bachelor of uh, Counselling, I think it's called. Bachelor of Counselling. She rang today at lunchtime and said she was enjoying it. What are you putting in there? Uh, get leaves. I get some leaves. Is that to help the birds? Yeah. You're helping them make it? Oh, uh, maybe don't pull the ones off the tree. Maybe the ones off the ground are better. Nah, they love cold. Okay. All right, Dad's going to go figure out what we're doing for dinner.